Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll see how to update an item using Riverpod in your list. Now here at the top I have this list provider and which generates a list and returns the provider. Well over here I'm generating a list using Faker package but it could be any typical list. You don't have to use a package. So it generates the list and return the list as a provider which should be available in our app because it's a global variable. Now over here inside this class which is list item, inside this list item we want to update our list and how it should work. For example if I click on a certain item you see that that item the string the name changes. So that's what we want. And how we did that? So somehow we get the index wherever we click we get the index for that and then for that index we get a, we get the item the related item where we are clicking now over here we have this index and item and at the same time inside this on pressed event we have the list the list that actually is being shown over here so we get the whole list now if we get the list and index because right now our list is available our index is available so wherever we click so we can lock that certain item and then we update that item because we use the faker package to change the name okay so over here we randomly generate a name remember it just a randomly generated name over here you can use any kind of string as well it doesn't really matter okay and you assign it to that index in that list and once we are done with that over here we update our list in our river pod and how to do that first we get our original list which is list provider at the top we have this list provider now we get that list and then we get the notifier object and we also say the state that actually the list that should be updated we get that one and update the whole list and how we do that over here we have this three dots and then we have our list these three dots are called spread operators so you use a spread operator and your updated list and you assign it to your state variable and thus your riverpod list gets updated